New technology is shedding light on an old mystery. Hidden details of Ernest Shackleton's sunken endurance ship in Antarctica have now come to the surface. CTV's Anastasia Dextreme takes a deeper dive on the Canadian connection. After more than 100 years submerged in the depths of Antarctica, a long-lost ship is revealed. These are images of Sir Ernest Shackleton's wreck, the Endurance. Thanks to new subsea scanning technology, 3D reconstruction, and a team of researchers, the vessel can be seen as if murky waters were drained away. Cameras and laser scanners were put on an underwater vehicle, an autonomous underwater robot. And um, once the wreckage was found, um, one of the first tasks is actually uh, mapping, um, mapping the ship. Associate Professor of Mechanical Engineering James Forbes, who was involved in the project, says ensuring the accurate navigation of the robots was key. What my McGill team facilitated was we collect um, laser point cloud data and we stitch together various laser images, which in turn enhances the navigation solution. If you have a very accurate navigation solution, then you can build a very accurate a three-dimensional model of the wreck. The endurance went down in the Weddell Sea during Shackleton's Antarctic expedition of 1914. After getting trapped by ice, it sank more than 3,000 meters, but not a single life was lost. Fast forward to when the wreckage was discovered, as seen by this photo in 2022. Now, with today's advances, one can see human touches, like plates and dishware, and even Shackleton's boot. There was a 3D photogrammetry model um, created um, using the images um, that were taken with the voice camera. Um, and what's really exciting about that is then you have like this 3D, this 3D model. So it's more than just a 2D picture. Professor Forbes says this technology could go beyond shipwrecks and lend itself to any number of submarine inspection tasks. Think underwater bridge and turbine inspections. Anastasia Dextreen, CTV News.